Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, in today's video, vegans are afraid of carnivores. What do I mean by that statement? Lately, we've been seeing many response videos of vegans defending their diet. John and Leo Venus, unnatural vegan, freely the banana girl, vegan gains, that vegan couple, happy healthy vegan and many many more try to defend their dietary choices. Guys, I see a pattern here. Let me give you an example. If you would be walking down the street and out of a sudden a little kid comes up to you and it starts punching you, you wouldn't start defending yourself. You would laugh it off. At least I hope so. I hope you wouldn't start punching the kid back, right? You would think it just wants to play. It's a joke. It's not a real threat. But now let me give you another scenario. Imagine it's nighttime. You're walking into a dark alleyway. Out of a sudden, a man appears and starts attacking you. You will start defending yourself. You will start dodging the punches. You will start punching back. Why? Because it is a real threat. That is the only reason here. Why do I give you that example? Think about it. If there's no threat, you do not have to defend yourself. It's just that easy. If the carnivore diet would truly be just a joke, you could laugh it off. If it would be nothing to take seriously, then you wouldn't take it seriously. Hey everybody, Klaus here from Plant Bases. Thank you for tuning in. So today we're gonna to be talking about Sean Baker, who is an ex-doctor and also only eats meat and he wants everybody else to do the same. The carnivore diet is a true threat to veganism. I'm not a carnivore myself. As I said in my latest video, I do not want to be identified with any camp whatsoever. I am doing what is right for me, but the carnivores are obviously the counter movement, the most radical counter movement to veganism and they're producing great results. Overall health wise, autoimmune disorders, gut issues, skin issues and whatnot, the carnivore diet delivers for many, many people. Veganism on the other hand doesn't seem to deliver. Lately you saw it, many people quit the vegan diet because of exactly those issues. Digestive issues, skin breakouts, depression and whatnot. Meanwhile you see that the carnivores have their mental faculties together. They're calm, but they're driven, they're ambitious, they are strong and they're promoting their dietary course effectively. The vegan stereotype on the other hand is frail, pale, sickly looking and it hasn't been debunked yet. Sure, there are a couple of vegan athletes, but how long have they been vegan? Many of those athletes end their careers due to injuries. I can tell you many anecdotal stories of injuries myself whilst being on a plant-based diet. But guys, I'm not making this video to bash anybody. I just recognize a pattern and I got reminded of my late days as a vegan. When I was a vegan, in my later days, I started defending my diet. I started attacking the carnivore diet myself. And that was shortly before I ditched veganism. Because I truly saw a threat. My ideology started to crumble. I had to rethink my dietary choices. All of a sudden I was forced into realization. Shit, I've been injured quite a lot lately. Shit, my digestion is far from perfect. I feel depressed. I feel anxious. Before that I was just ignoring them. But due to the carnivore camp, I had to face the facts. I had to look into myself and confront my ailments. And this is what many vegans realize now. When the carnivores tell them, dude, you're a farting machine. Joey farts strong. Those people get shook into the realization and into the understanding that they are not alright. You can pretend that everything is fine and nobody calls you out for your flaws. But when somebody starts calling you out, out of a sudden you realize that you have been in the wrong and that there is something to be exposed. As I said in the beginning, it is a true threat. If the carnivore diet wouldn't be a true threat, 
you wouldn't take it seriously. This is why the vegans make anti-carnivore videos, because they know it works, because they understand that their ideology is threatened, because they understand that something is wrong deep within them. So therefore, the good news here is that all of those guys and girls that are making videos against the carnivore camp, they are confronting their own issues. That was my path as well. The last couple of months I was attacking the carnivore camp until I had to submit, until I had to realize, Bobby, you've been wrong. Alright guys, and this is it for today's video. Just a quick rant about the carnivore threat and the vegan defense. If you like this type of video, leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And as always guys, much love and peace.